and Kevin Garnett has had big ball games against Sacramento in the last two years. Very difficult matchup for Chris. You see the quickness of Kevin Garnett getting past Chris on the wing. Very good in the open floor at seven foot. Look at the way he can finish and always aggressive on the offensive board. Kevin Garnett's called a big ticket and that's why. Well, I'll tell you, when you look at what he has done against Sacramento, these are the numbers in the last two plus seasons. Uh, missing two layup opportunities. Yeah, and really just uh, throwing the ball up. Uh, Page here again kind of lost control right at the basket. So, Kings, uh, not a good start for the Kings, but a very good start for Kevin Garnett, who looked comfortable offensively at all. And certainly you saw it at the start of this game, uh, shooting an air ball. Yeah, he did not score in the game against Indiana from the floor. That's not a lot of Divas brings two men to him, finds C. Webb. Garnett with the side pop. Kevin Garnett has four. Garnett posting. Garnett has made his first two shots. We mentioned he's been struggling the last two games, and he's not struggling tonight. He is out of his slump. Really, he and Zerbiak really went toe to toe. Page got the best of it. Timeout upcoming at the next whistle. Nice defense by Weber and Sterevich on a nice flip from Garnett. It was in, oh my goodness. Peja has 12. Now the setup to KG. Kevin Garnett from the. And Jason forcing the pass into the paint. That's him, Doug Christie with the ball. And here come the Kings. It's a three on one. Christie trying to get out of a slump. Offensive foul. And we're going to get a good look at it here. Jason Will going to little drop pass off to Doug Christie going right at Kevin Garnett. You see the block and you saw really good call. I don't think the uh, fans will like this, but I think it's a good call. Kevin Garnett gets up on the ball. Now watch Doug Christie's offhand. See? Yep. Easy call to make the right call. I agree with you. That is the right call. Well, scoring. He's 0-3 uh, after going 30 minutes and scoreless the other night against Indiana. A high-scoring first quarter. Garnett. So, so, so. Kevin Garnett has 10. Oh, what a gorgeous touch pass from Bloody Divots. Garnett. Kevin Garnett. That's trouble for Sacramento when he gets in a zone like this. In the backcourt with Peeler. Dean Garrett now in with Garnett and Zerbiak. Brandon from the side connects. And again, the T-Wolves remain hot shooting 70. Got treated just the same way. Bloody's 4-4. He has 8. And Bloody's had a couple of gorgeous passes to go with it. Brandon. Wow. Hey, the only uh, bright spot for Sacramento has the basketball uh, if he can't penetrate to the basket. Yeah, there's just no way size-wise, uh, skill-wise, that LaFonso can, can. He's really more of a small forward, so it would just not be away defensively. Anthony Peeler. But, uh, he plays like a power forward around the basket. He puts bodies on people. Garnett now with uh, Lawrence Funderburg defending. And, you know, you can't defend against that. That's just a good shot. No, it's about the best uh, the Kings have looked offensively in a few games uh, for a consistently ineffective in transition for some strange reason. But in the half-court game, uh, the ball's moving beautifully. And each Sacramento lead, two minutes left in the half. And Peeler connects the side pop. Well, well, Anthony Peeler, there's no question about it, against the Kings is one of the After that, same thing for the Timberwolves with Kevin Garnett, the seven-foot big ticket, as we call him, off the dribbles, able to establish that jump shot and certainly scored all the way through the half. And he and Kevin Garnett are quite a duo. Well, Kevin Garnett, watch this. This is a seven-footer, nice little spinning turn, fadeaway jump shot. Uh, for so long, had a couple of uh, mediocre games for him, and tonight we're seeing him back. Garnett. And Kevin Garnett off the window. You know, another thing about Christie. For the first time in the ball game, Reggie Slater has checked in. And he's fouled, and he'll go to the line looking for a three-point play. So around the league a long time, played for a lot of teams. Now watch Kevin Garnett. He gets by Chris. Defended well, but is able to slip the ball through to Slater. And Slater is able to power it up, draw the foul. Man, that guy is unbelievable. Brandon now with 16. Yeah, he. Garnett, one of two. Four to shoot. Brandon with one on the clock. And the tip in by Garnett. Cannot guard Wally or Chris Lowe. Certainly they're in foul trouble now. Now watch this follow shot by Kevin Garnett. Just a beautiful tip by the seven footer. Garnett. 
Irish gold medalist. Call tomorrow to place your deposit for a box. Ivas was not able to get through the ball. Brandon. Garnett. Oh, man, Minnesota has to lead. 95-94. Push everybody into the inside the three. And it's all over. Garnett thought he was fouled. It's all over.